Proverbs chapter 18. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, we got we got time enough to do it. Before, hold your place there. Let's back up. Proverbs chapter four. Let me just let me run something by you here, and I don't want I want you to listen to this. Proverbs chapter four, and then we'll go to eighteen. Proverbs chapter four. Now, you look at this and you you know, you just have to know in your heart that it's God speaking to you. Praise God. Amen. Aren't you glad we're believers today? I'm not a doubter. Are you? If God says something in this word, I, I can believe it. Amen. It says, verse 20, My son, and that could be anybody, of course, or daughter, my son, attend to my words. Attend to them. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Now just by saying this, uh, on, the, on the other side of the coin as we could say today, could it be that none of these things could apply to your life? That you wouldn't attend to the word? That you wouldn't keep them in front of your eyes? Or that you wouldn't keep them in the midst of your heart? Why, that's just as possible as being able to do it. But he's telling us here to do it. And he said, keep them in the midst of thine heart. Verse 22, for they are life unto those that find them. Now, now catch those words. This is God's word. They are life unto those that find them. Now, has everyone found them? No. But to those that find them. It says, and this is so important. Now, listen to this. Let this sink down in your hearts and catch it. For they are life unto those that find them, and they are health to all of their flesh. Can you believe that? Is this the Word of God? Is this right here in the Bible on this page? Is it in your Bible on that page? Did God speak this and have through Solomon and Solomon wrote it down? Hmm? Did he speak that and it's just as so as God spoke it? Is it? Because this wisdom came from God. You remember God gave Solomon wisdom. Not earthly wisdom. Godly wisdom. When something's godly, it's of God. So listen to that now. They are life unto all those that find them. And one translation said, and they're health to their whole body. What's health to your body? Well, if it's the will of God to heal me or something like that, that ain't what it said. I found that when you read this, and somebody has the question, and of course they do all the time, well, is it God's will to heal me? Wrong question. That's not even legitimate. Can you see it? That's not even that's not that's not the right question. Is it God's will to heal me? Here's the thing. If you find the word, it's life to all those that find them and health to all their flesh. What is? God's will? No. The word, it, which is God's will. It's life to you, health to all your flesh. So it's, it's, a, it's not legitimate for someone to ask, is it God's will to heal me? That's the wrong question. That's not right. That doesn't, that's, that's, you see how wrong that is? Completely out of line. Completely 